always forget that the sound is off. Sorry. Well, because you always tell me to turn one of the microphones off, and nobody's cracked about the echo yet, so I, I just do it, and I forget. Thank you, Dan. Sorry about that. So how is everyone? I hope you're awesome. Is it Saturday? It's Saturday. Are you having an awesome Saturday? Rhonda Draculis from RK3 Designs came by today. She's already gone though. But I don't want to put her on the spot. And she wasn't in resiny clothes. Or what have. So today I'm reviewing Dianca, 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 Dianica. None of that is right, probably. Dianca pours pigments. That even sounds good. Like, that name just, like, it sounds like it should be good. Her name just sounds like? Dianca pours? Dianca. Dianca, Dianca. Mm. Sorry for butchering your name. Well, thank you for your one eyeball vamp. I need you. Anyways, so I'm going to show you her box that she sent me. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Tunes. 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 Every time I say tunes, what I think of is Anyways, so. She sent me a box of goodies and it looks like this. But in the box there is not a name on it. Oh. Quartz White. It's really pretty. It's blowing out the camera. It looks like a silvery version of Luster White from Color Obsession. Beautiful. There's also a celestial blue. A little bit warm on camera. It looks like sky blue from Color Obsession. If you, I'm trying to give you some comparisons so you guys, if you have it, you can know. Where's, where's she from? Netherlands, right? Or no? Maybe. I've got one of TG's eyeballs and then also one of Vamp's eyeballs, so we should be good to go. Any trolls should pop up. Uh, this is Lilium. And then like a steel color. Oh, slate blue. Yeah. I got half filled. This is in the wheels. Almost tipped over like three times. You're gonna send it back? I don't know. I can I can use it somehow. <laughs> you don't like anything without wheels. Yes. Aquarius is purple, but I would have way assumed Aquarius would be a blue color. However, it's still a pretty purple color. It looks way more violet on um, in person rather than that. Yeah, it looks like this camera, not the other one. It's crazy because if I take this camera and put it right here, it's going to make it this color. I think it's because of like the direction of the sun. Black Cherry Merlot, all about that. All about that. And then there's some in these pouches that are really heavy. So I have to assume they're a metal pigment. There's a rose gold, rustic gold, antique gold, and a sterling silver. A whole bunch of this, which if I carried this and put it in my, my boxes of paint, my cats would get in there. And then craziness. <laughs> Oh god, I thought that was a bunny rabbit he was playing with. And she also, I'm sorry it's blurry on camera, has a glitter glass. This is the same grain uh, or particle size glitter glass that we carry, so that's awesome. And she sent me a note and a couple of business cards if you guys are interested. There's her info. Feel free to pause the video to get it. 
to the next corner. Dun, dun, dun. Um, no one returned any answers, but you. Aww. She almost set her garage on fire. If it, if there was a recipe for disaster, I found it. Then I messaged artists, researched blogs, started looking at forums, and looked for any information possible at the time. No one returned any of my answers. Understandably so, until I found you guys. You two were so kind and helped kickstart my resin journey. I owe a lot to you. Thank you so much. Heart DP. Dianca Poor. Dianca Poor, sorry. Um, she gives me a little awesome. bit of her backstory. I'm so proud of you, Dianca. I hope we're saying that right. I'm almost 100% sure. Hey, Don, Tracy, Sam, Stephanie, Max, Debbie, uh, Sherry, Cherie, Roxy. Um, I'm almost 100% sure I'm saying it wrong. El Spicy, what it do? What it do, Spice Spice? So, I'm gonna. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I also got some of these from Molly's Artistry. Probably can't see, but it says so right there. Molly's Artistry. And they're. Because, you know, I typically use cups or spray paint caps to hold my V's up. But they're for that. And you can apparently really easily peel paint off of them. Uh, Judy showed these to me first. And amazingly, while I was at Judy's, Molly reached out to me. So I was like, heck yeah, I'll review them for you. So also we're going to see about that. So I want to use this Black okay. Cherry Merlot, possibly the Celestial Blue. I need something silly. Let's do these, shall we? We shall. Put all these up. Star. Oh, you can't get up there, boo boo. Please don't. Please don't. Want get down? Nope, not up there. You tried for it. I know you guys saw it. I know you did. So I'm going to do quartz white, black cherry merlot, antique gold, all from Dianca Pores. Hope I'm saying that right. And then Aqua C from uh, Color Passion to get some cell action. Cool. Cool. I went ahead and mixed up some Stone Coat Art Coat because it's my jam jam. Uh, it's our favorite resin. And if you guys are interested, I carry it on my website, artistildeath.com. But although I do carry it, anybody that's used it, most anybody will tell you that it's awesome. It's really awesome. Review month, I tell you. Well, we have definitely a lot of things to review. Oh, show. I'm going to make this a negative space piece. So I don't need that much resin in my color cups. We're going live early today because I have to stone a Pikachu. I gotta get started on that. It's not a medieval torture situation. I have to like <laughs> hand place rhinestones on a Pikachu. All right. Aqua C. This is what's gonna give me my cells. Trying to find what camera is closest to color. None of them. It's brighter than all of the cameras. It's beautiful aqua color. And it looks a little bit too blue on camera, but 
I'm used to that now. The camera's just can't really show turquoises and teals or purples very well. Unless it's blue and then it shows it's purple. It's weird. Alright. Ooh, very nice seal. Let me try to not get the aqua color in there. Cool. Nice shimmery, sparkly particles. Try not to breathe. Um, How do you spell her name? D I A N K A. Yep. It's a beautiful color. Y'all know I'm a fan of wine. Um, anytime I use a powder, regardless of the maker, I overload so that I can be sure my powders don't dilute when I use. Arguably too much heat. Just let me live my life, okay? Let me put too much pigment in there. So I always tap these when I do reviews to make sure that it's a, a true seal. Because a lot of times... She lives in Chicago, Illinois. She lives in Chicago? Yeah. Way off. <laughs> I don't know why I thought she was... I think I was confusing, because of her name, the... Um, What's her name? The Dutch Poor? The inventor of the Dutch Poor. Um, so this white is similar to uh, Luster White. She's getting ready to join. She's getting ready for her mom's birthday celebration. Oh no! I hate that I'm like busting on her mom's birthday celebration, but I've been looking at these colors for too long. It's time for me to it's review some stuff month, right? And y'all, I'm serious. Oh, I have a scale right here. Let me tell you how heavy this packet is of color. Fifty-three grams. Point of reference. Another brand, bigger bag, just as full or more full. Twenty six point six four bananas, yeah. It just means it is a, like a metal pigment as opposed to a mica, which means I'm gonna get some floating action. Also, especially this, don't breathe it. For example, um, 007 is a heavier flake. Like this. To close this gently so it doesn't go <gasps> in my face. All right, let's mix these colors up. So she's going to hop in here in a minute. If you guys have any questions for her, I may not be able to answer. When you mix a powder, I always fold it in. In. Just you just fold it in. Like fold it like a Look at piece of paper. Yeah, you just you know you just fold it in. If you say fold it in one more time. <laughs> Hello, Heidi. That's beautiful. You know, a lot of luster whites actually look more pearl when you mix them into resin. Like almost champagne-y, not true white, but this is like a silvery white. If platinum white was a thing, it would be this. 
Hi, Evelyn. I'm going to fold in this wine color gently, easy, watch it. Okay. And then you let loose. Uh, you fold it in so it doesn't kick all the particles back in your face when you just go ham and start mixing it up all willy-nilly. Look at that color. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this. It's like ready but also plummy. If any of that makes sense. I'm sure it may to some people. Anyone that speaks e-science will know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is a lot like 007. I was trying to fold it so you guys could see in the side camera, but um, I was doing a horrible job on the first three colors. Yeah, we're gonna have some beautiful pigments. I mean, particles that float in this bow show. The name of the red is Black Cherry Merlot. Okie dokie. Loki, Loki, Loki. I'm not Loki, I'm high key. What's going on? It's looking around. It's um dull. Uh, it. it looked great, but then it didn't. It's just a little dark. It looks better. First thing, I'm going to do a grease the pan. It is pretty. Black cherry merlot is an awesome color. They make a David and Moira, Moira cooking set. I don't know a cooking set. That's fun. I just got her Schitt's Creek pop, uh, Funko Pops. That is terrible. What is the side of people you got here, babe? What's the angle or what's the color? It looks like it's right up on you. It is, so that they can see. Also, I think that was her messaging you back. All right, since I'm doing negative space, I did a thicker grease the pan. Sounds and looks good enough to drink. I bet it would. I mean, I'm not going to drink it, but if, if a wine was that color, I would drink it. For sure. Thanks, B. You're amazing and the bestest one. All right. So, I'm going in with my Aqua C from Color Passion first. This is going to be my cell activator. She put us on her page. Sweet. Done. I'm just kidding. Psych. Hello, Barbara. How are you doing? Then I'm going to separate it with the quartz white, which is an awesome pure white shimmer, which is hard to find. Um, a lot of times it looks pearl or sh slightly champagne-y, but it's not. And both of these powders that I mixed up so far, it looks like they mixed in really well. They didn't leave any 
residue chunks? Uh, yeah, the color freckles or tadpoles. Headed out to Monster Jam. We'll have fun, Evelyn. Monster Jam. I've been to one of those, and it is a blast. Then I'm putting the Merlot over the white to kind of give a, a barrier separation because I want to keep those colors pure. Okay. Um, my pleasure. Thank you for the sweet note. And tell me if I'm saying Dianka. Dianka. Um, <laughs> she's going to just spell it out. And she's going to be like, it's Dianka. But I'm yeah. not going to know how she... Is it Dianka or Dianka? It's probably something none of... It's probably like... It's call? Danica. I'm not going to call you DP. Not in this group. Maybe I'll just call you D. Right. It's gonna be awesome. Dianka. Got it. Dianka. For some reason, because I was saying it Dianka, I was like, she must be from the Netherlands or something. <laughs> Way off. D works. Sweet. All right, it's fine. This Merlot color is just amazing. Ah, amazing. I'm gonna adjust you a little bit so you don't have that glare right in the middle of the piece. Great, so now it's just interrupting this camera view. You know what I'm trying to do though. You get it. Everyone loves the colors. Hi, Darcy. What you making? I'm making a resin painting. And I'm using some amazing colors from Bianca Pores. Yeah, this gold is a lot like 007 in that it has these flecks that float up and look just awesome and metallic on the surface. I told y'all when I weighed it that it was going to be amazing. I told you. Now, I don't use that many powders. So I'm excited to see what we can create with yours. And it's my pleasure to do reviews. I back... The little guy. I back anybody that comes to me and needs help, will support people that are helping themselves or people that are down. Whatever we can do to help someone, we're down to do it. She'd so. be like, uh, I'm not down. <laughs> no, but she's helping herself in that she like came up with her own colors and branded. It makes my heart happy to see people live in the dream so we're happy to be a part of your journey and give a review because if people don't review it and share the word I mean, it's like us it's, it's like hard to grow started, we were literally like who's gonna buy from us who's gonna buy a stir stick from somebody Crazy artist from Dallas, Texas. Right. And then y'all bought him. He was like, oh my god, they're fine. Because I would look at PayPal every single day <laughs> just to see if there was a purchase of upstairs. <laughs> oh gosh. No, there were so many days where there weren't any. We're like, we already went through everybody that uses resin. <laughs> you'll catch on one day maybe I hope looks like a color ribbon that was the idea and it's working now a lot of times when you work with powders they 
like when you swipe them or use a lot of heat, they kind of fade away. But um, I always load my powders and it's, um, it's doing awesome. The powders are selling. Can't wait to post a true color video. Also, tell your mom we said happy birthday. Not on camera. Stephanie is drinking wine. I want a glass of wine. It's almost five. It's five o'clock in Australia. The red and turquoise combo reminds me of y'all's old school pours. It's still one of my favorite combinations. I can't get away from it. Are you going to add purple? I wasn't planning on it. Did you want me to add a purple? Hi, Susan. Thank you for the congrats on the engagement. We are very, very excited. side what do you guys think we should do for a next pour with us class I meant to tell you, I'm engaged. I've been trying to keep it like low key though. What was all this one million? Yeah. Laughing helps my migraine. I choked. I'm just saying, I didn't want to like make a big deal about being engaged. I just, so I just haven't been talking about it that much. And I'm really not posting about it on Facebook. Darcy wants purple, so let me. Come up with a purple real quick. Demo on demand over here. This is black current. I'm just going to add some into my this. And then my quartz white. A little bit. All right, it also looks indigo, but I promise you it is a deep purple. No, no, it is. Mikey? Is that how I say? Hi everyone. Oh yeah. Could make a clock out of it. Alright. Now I'm going to have to do dip swipes to incorporate this purple. I'm just going to put a little bit on my swiping paper. in, not fold it in, but just add it in, swipe it through. I 
Thank you, Heidi. They're from Bianca Pores. She was in the room. I don't know if she's still here because she's, um, it's her mom's birthday. I'm trying to make this purple not look like an afterthought. It's working so far. Send me real Kinder eggs. Aren't those the best? Right. Huh. It's gonna look so cool. That looks cool already. Hi, Dolores Vandeberg. Hello, Miss Vandeberg. At the Southamptons Vandebergs. <laughs> Don't get it twisted from the Southampton Vandebergs. Hold my poodle, Vandeberg. I'd like to do a class on marble or fairy wood. Ooh. Uh, we haven't done like faux finish class yet. That would be a good one. Of course, Tracy. Happy to help. Yeah, anytime someone asks if they can share a link to their page in ATD's Poor People, I don't mind. As long as it doesn't become spammy, which I don't think you would do that. I just have to say it. So, I didn't know. Does it happen? That's my line. You have Kinder Eggs in Canada? There, um, I think we have them at the airport. Y'all, this gold is making surprise flex all over the place. And I love it. Look how vibrant those colors are. And for powders, that's bananas. Banan. Just letting it shift a little bit. So I can drop some resin onto these holders from Molly's Artistry so that I can do the test so you don't have to. They're at every Polish deli. Well, now I'm just rubbing it in. Oh, thank you, Darcy. It was a great suggestion. Yeah, the U.S. does have the lame version of Kinder Eggs. I'm super digging the gold. The Merlot. Unfortunately, the white has subsided, but it did its job in separating the um, the red from the blue so we didn't get an unwanted secondary. I'm digging it. I'm just going to tilt off this way and see what we can stretch about. Is the black spray paint? It is. I spray painted the the cradle board black and then I just have clear resin over it so that it doesn't darken or cloud up my other colors. So um, Lisa, her powders I'm only using her powders. She didn't send me any paste. But the her powders are making cells over the base paste that I'm using. It is sparkles in the paint. Aren't they great? All of her powders have a pretty good shimmer to them. What's 
Thank you, Allison. I appreciate that. Stephanie, don't be afraid of doing black backgrounds. It's it's an awesome different look from the white backgrounds and even do um well, actually it helps it like it accentuates stuff it makes stuff pop more and it hides a lot of stuff too mm -hmm. it does we also do a lot of um like gray backgrounds like a taupe and that is an awesome break from the white as well no worries lisa um, at the end of this uh, video, I'll show you guys again what colors I used. Happy to answer any questions. I'm just stretching these swipe lines out a little bit. Just experimenting. Trying to get it to look a little bit less like a feather. Hey, Crystal. Um, I am using Dianca pores powders, and then also Aqua C from Color Fashion. colors are so great. I'll do a true color video because they're a little bit more vibrant in real life as opposed to on here. So you guys can see. See down here how it's kind of faded out? That's just part of what powders do as opposed to a paste. When a lot of people ask me why, what's the difference in a paste and a powder, this is one of the things I tell them. If I were to have swiped a uh, paste this far, it would have stayed opaque. It wouldn't have faded out like it is right here. But that's also desired if you know that that's going to happen, you can control it. Um, and do some awesome like galaxy type things with powders that you can't do with paste because they fade out, you know? Since I have some leftovers, okay, I'm going to set these aside so that they can cure with this resin on so I can see how easily they peel off because that's one of the selling points is that that stuff's really easy to peel. She, uh, Dianca is based in the States. What do we say? Chicago? No. Chicago. 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 Sorry, that's so blown out. As soon as I get something on here, it'll, there it goes. Die down a bit. Meow. Um, I have these Druzy centers from Petra that I'm going to lay on top of these and it's gonna give me a druzy, shimmery texture. So you can get these from Petra. I don't have her URL off the top of my head. Nope. Still nope. There you go. So she makes these druzy textures. What's a jersey? It's a thing. I 
just going to press that bad boy on there. Thank you, Vamp. Um, Bianca, do you ship to Canada? Everything's so far away from Denmark. But not all hope is lost, though, Heidi. International shipping should be easier soon when all the U.S. catches up from the winter storm we had, I assume. I hope. I don't know. Uh, she does ship internationally. I definitely recommend the wine if you're going to order from her. Pick this up. A little hot on camera. It's more close to this face camera color. I don't know if I'm testing these right, but this is how I'm going to say that I'm supposed to do them. We're going to find out together tomorrow. Do purple. This purple was made with just a little bit of the black currant from Color Obsession, and then Dianca pours quartz white. So it's got a shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see that shimmer. Home Depot Wagner heat gun is great. Awesome. They sent us two. They did send us two, but there's different kinds of Wagner heat guns. The one we have doesn't have a lot of it's like take flow. Like fast. get these open. Wait. Okay. It has a variable speed. It is just not a very good one. Well, in the cool down thing, Splash them apparently. Mm. 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 Got one more. <gasps> All right, cool, it's cool. It's fun. Whatever. How many of you guys have a tidy art area? Are you a clean artist? Uh, Cause I'm not. I think at one point I decided I was gonna try to make that like a resolution to be a tidier artist, but that went out the window almost immediately. That was like 10 years ago? Yeah. As you can see, I've made progress.
at how nice that gold is. You can hardly see it. Oh, it's way blown out. But there you go. Wait, wait. I love a floating gold. Love it. I would do a piece that's just these two colors. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, so basically Crystal F is the only tidy artist. Which is not a bad thing. as a tidier artist, but also I'm not going to lose any sleep over the fact that I'm not a tidy artist either. You know? to do the buy since I just brought the boys in. And by may ask, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Mine keeps moving so the box is beside me. That's Jeff's job to stress. That's true. He's, he's better at stressing than I am. If it's not clean, I freak out. Yeah. I understand being neat and tidy and organized. It's definitely better for the brain. Well, People are less stressed. It's almost better for your creativity too, because if you have a messy station and, and you you like it clean, then it's gonna hinder you from doing anything. You're like, mm, I don't feel like cleaning that up, and then you don't paint, you don't create. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I've walked into an art space and just looked around like, no. I don't feel like messing with this right now. So that's true. All right, I'm gonna take these very messy art stands to the dust-free zone. y'all see this? She lays on her back all day, every day. Like a wounded penguin. <laughs> what even is happening with her right now? Hold on. She adjusted herself. She was extra awkward a second ago. Don't you dare jump up here. Not for key cats. Also, she sits like that. Hi, Angela.
TG says, right now it looks like I'm in between Dream Home and Hoarders. Don't start. We just went. Don't even. Catalicious says, my cat Pizza does the same thing. His name is Lucy. I love that you have a cat named Pizza. Pizza? Mm-hmm. Also, she lets me pet her belly. I got your foot. Moopert. Man. What? I just got in for walking them. I, but I, I do it. I just, he knows. I know. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Well, hey. What? I, I put her on so what? they could see how weird. Look at your fat belly. You're so weird. She's been sitting like this since she was a baby. She's so, like, slumpy. For the record, we don't fat shame her. Yeah, I do. But also we do. Her nickname is Fat Girl Cat. <laughs> FGC. <laughs> Can you see this cat? You're such a weirdo. She's got, they got big so fast. All right, well thanks y'all. Thank you. Uh, Dianca. Dianca. She I'm the worst at, she at phonetically saying spelled people's it out names. For me. That was a fun little Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, <laughs> Saturday. So we yeah. Three reviews out of it. Petra's circles. Oh yeah. Molly's Dianca's stands. Like, mm, I thought this was a view from my stuff. I mean, the other stuff was just like also, also. Also, this. and you have some too. And also, you have some. <laughs> yeah thank you all um why don't you guys leave some comments some suggestions of what we should do for next uh next month's poor class poor with us class and if you're not familiar with that what we do is we put together a kit that you buy whenever you want about a week and a half before the class we suggest so that we know that it can get to you by that said time. Tune in normally around six, right? Yeah. Six, like around six p.m. Central Standard Time, and uh, do a, a pour with us. Um, and it's always different. There's always something different. Um, and we'd love to uh, hear some of your suggestions. So um, let us know what you think we should do. Some, some can be a little pricey. Some can be $95. It, it depends on what, uh, what we decide. And, and what it is is a kit that you could, when you open it, you're ready to do whatever you need to do. So um, with that said, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. And always remember, we do the tests. So you don't have to. She's in the back. <laughs> so with that said, I hope you guys have an awesome Saturday. Um, I'm sure we'll go live tomorrow. I'm not sure. Tomorrow's Sunday depends on what we're feeling, what we're doing. That's normally our day just to chill and have fun at home and just not think. <laughs> I might go to Makers tomorrow because we got to make some things. So, um, If we don't see you tomorrow, we'll see you on Monday, 6 p.m. You guys have an awesome day. Talk to you all later. Bye.